I smoked the entire pack of my grandma's cigarettes and my lungs turned black, so she told me I should just stick to vaping at my age. My name is Dixie Normus, and this is my chain smoking story. It was a regular Sunday morning, and I was staying over at my grandma's. Whilst my mom was out of town, I was just scrolling mindlessly on my iPad when I saw a video on my FYP, someone smoking cigarettes and talking about how they would never quit them even if they got cancer because they're that good. So naturally, I had to see what all the hype was about. I snuck into my grandma's room and found her 20-pack, took the matches out of her drawer and headed back to my room. I could not wait and pressed the first one to my lips and set it alight, immediately causing me to cough and splutter. But I wasn't going to give up that easily, so I continued to smoke it until it became rather enjoyable. And one by one, I just kept on smoking. Until eventually the entire pack was gone. What the f***? My once soft voice became this croaky disgrace, and my lungs wheezed in pain. My grandma burst into the room and screamed at me that I had ruined my life. Stick to the vapes, you silly little girl, she told me. I accidentally sent spicy pictures to the family group chat. My name is Benjamin Dover. Take a moment for my traumatic tale. It was the summer break, and I was just enjoying myself on Snapchat, talking to my favorite girl, Melanie. We had been chatting weeks, and I was really starting to like her. I had no idea that this newfound love interest would be the downfall to my entire family life. Melanie's selfies were simply giving me the horn, and it was getting me hot and bothered. So I decided to send a risky text. I set my phone down and stood over it, completely exposed, I should add. Wiggly worm extended to the snap. And without hesitating, I pressed send. I was pretty thrilled to see how Melanie would like this. But instead, a sudden, loud scream from downstairs shook my room. I glanced back at my phone to see message opened, the receiver being the group chat, titled, Family. Oh no, no, no. My heart sank, and I wanted the ground to just swallow me up. My phone was taken away, never to be given back. Apparently, I'm not allowed one until age 18 now. Don't make this mistake, you guys. My mommy has a level 5 guyat. My name is Joe Bartolozzi. I'm just a regular little kid with only one thing that sets me apart from the rest. My mum's voluptuous behind, tantalising and jiggly. You may judge me for this, but I do not care. All my friends from school point it out and make chants saying, that's an ice spice level gyat, over and over, driving me insane. So one day, I decided to make a change. I bought myself a 9mm Glock 19 and was ready to seek my revenge. They would never chant about my mother's cake again. I'd make sure of it. On the morning before school, I slipped it into my bag and set off to catch the bus. When I entered the school gates with my mummy beside me, the bullying instantly began. They were pointing and taking pictures, so I had to let it loose early and reached for my bag. Without hesitating, I whipped out the Glock and let it pop off. I had no time to aim, so the bullets ended up flying out crazily, heading into my mommy's gat. They bounced right off and came back to me at full speed. Unfortunately, killing me instantly. Can I get a rip in the chat? I sprayed shit all over the gym floor trying to hit a squat PR. My name is Bradley Martin and I'm 260. This horrific event all started in an unexpected way. I thought it was going to be a regular session, until this little punk bet me I couldn't squat 700 pounds. So you know I had to prove him wrong. I began to load on the plates one by one, and I did feel a bit of nerves but I knew I could do this. I rested the bar on my shoulders and got ready to squat this insane weight. I began to descend, and the weight was crushing. But I somehow reached the bottom point of the squat. Now it was time to stand back up. I pushed with all my might, and my face was bright red, when out of nowhere, I felt a huge release. A bellowing sharting sound echoed around the gym, and everyone looked up, staring at me. Pools of brown liquid drenched the floor around me, and it smelled like the ass of a street tweaker. Suddenly, people began to hold their nose running out of the gym. I've never been more embarrassed in my life. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that gas station sushi. My parents put me up for adoption, because I wouldn't stop taking pics of my dog's pee-pee. My name is Bryce Hall. This is my strange addiction. It all started when I noticed my dog, Henry's Red Rocket Lolly. It was rather interesting to me, so I snapped a quick pic and went on with my day. The next morning, my dad asked me to show him the pictures I took at the wildlife park. I went to the other weekend and, stupidly forgetting, I had snapped these wee-wee pics. I pull up my camera roll right beside my father. I noticed him begin to stare down at me, 
and I knew I was in for a bad telling off. What on earth is this, Bryce? He angrily questioned. I said it was just for a joke and don't take it serious, but he forced me to delete it and said if he ever catches me doing something like that again, I will really wish I didn't. The next week, however, I couldn't help myself and did it a second time. This time my dad caught me in the act. Long story short, I'm never leaving the orphanage. I miss my parents and especially my dog. A fish squeezed inside my coochie whilst I was swimming in the lake. My name is Katie Whitehall. And this frightening event happened on what was just a nice summer's day, outdoor swimming with my friends. We were jumping into the lake from a rope swing and I had no idea. I would end up having to take a speedy trip to the nearest hospital to have a slippery scaly fish removed. It was my turn to jump in and I was pretty excited to plunge into the cold water on this hot sweltering day. So I swung high and took the dive into the river below. As I plunged underneath the water, I noticed there were lots of fish. How cute, I thought. But it quickly stopped being cute when I felt something slip and slither up inside me. What in the world is happening? Did I just get penetrated? I was hoping this couldn't be the case, but sure enough, this slithery sensation did not stop. I swam behind the bushes and took a look and saw a fishtail poking out. I had go get the fish surgically removed that very day. I'm pretty sure that I'm black. My name is Nicholas Gurr, and for a while now I've been starting to think I'm black. It all started when I realized that my absolute favorite food in the whole world is KFC fried chicken. It's just so succulent and tasty. And I even eat watermelon afterward every time without fail. I need it to wash down the fried chicken. It's the perfect combination. combination. I really love to listen to Tupac too, Rip to Bro. And to top it all off, guys, last week I was even watching Kai Sinet and Duke Dennis. And then I went out to the court and played a whole game of basketball. I was good as hell. I jumped to slam dunk and got all the three pointers. I'm starting to think I'm secretly adopted and I'm actually a real life black man. Because when that music start playing, I have the rhythm in my hips. I really be moving to it. I know for a fact, I'm really not white, y'all. Should I get a DNA test to see if it's true? I don't think I need to. It's pretty freaking obvious I am. Let me know if I'm black in the comments. I ate my own balls for protein because I ran out of beef. My name is Scro Tom. And yes, you guys heard that right. I ingested my own testicles. I'm just trying to get some muscles, so I eat a lot of spaghetti meatballs. It's my favourite dish by far. And if I can't have it, I go a little bit loopy. On this particular day, my mummy told me she couldn't get hold of any beef to make the meatballs, so I started genuinely tweaking out. I got up in her face and screamed at her, I'm going to fucking eat meatballs one way or another, and you're gonna have to watch me do something mighty freaky if you don't give me the easy option here. She began to weep. But I didn't give a shit. I turned into a rabid dog and growled. I bent down and ripped my pants off with my teeth, exposing my sack. Mmm, yummy balls these look even tastier than normal meatballs, I thought. I munched them down and the taste was immaculate. My mummy was shocked and rushed me to hospital to stop the bleeding. It is true that I won't ever be able to have kids, but it was worth it for the meatball flavor. I nuked the entire United States because Adon Ross disrespected me in an interview. My name is Kim Jong Yunnan, leader of North Korea. And yes, I did have to take American off the map for what that dumbass streamer was saying to me. I thought we were going to have a serious political discussion, but he asked me to join up on this app called Discord. And right away, I knew it was going to be a tough conversation. He started by showing a video of this ginger curly hair lady asking me what level rating I would give to her giat. I said I do not know what you are talking about and that's when I noticed a nutsack hanging out of his shorts. I couldn't believe my eyes and then he burst out laughing. He pulled it off and said it's just a rubber ball sack, it's not real Kim. He was laughing and said he really got me and at this point I was starting to get very heated. And then he went ahead and asked me if I'd ever been stabbed before and told me he got stabbed by his uncle. But I took this as a threat. This bitch-ass streamer thinks he can disrespect Kim. I pressed the big red button on my desk, and I smiled as I saw the look on his face when he heard the nuke plummeting towards his country. My mom made me a salad for lunch, so I set my fucking pit bull on her. 
My name is Gorlock the Destroyer. My mom makes me lunch every day, and she usually makes me what I like. My favorite food is cow heart, deep fried with melted cheese, greasy as possible. But on this particular day, I came downstairs to see a fucking salad on the table. Assuming it wasn't for me, I asked my mom where my lunch is, and she told me, I have to eat the salad, because apparently I never eat anything healthy. There is no way she can be serious. I'm not eating that shit, mom, I screamed. She said she will not change her mind, so I had to take matters into my own hands. I swung the door open and marched to the dog kennel outside, fetching my baby princess pitbull killer. I brought her to the door and shouted, kill her time to shred, and set her loose to charge down my mother. She tore my mom a new anus hole. Unfortunately, I had to rush her to hospital so she wouldn't bleed out and die. But it's safe to say she won't be making me a salad again anytime soon. I love to stick my finger in my poo-poo hole and sniff it. My name is Joe Bartolozzi. And you may be wondering how I came to this realization. It all started when I was at my buddy's house for a sleepover. We took a break from playing Xbox and decided to play a game of truth or dare. I went first and of course chose dare. And then my friend seemed to have a devious expression on his face as though he was going to ask me the zestiest question in the world. And so he did. I dare you to stick a finger up, a back door, and dig for poop. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, but I did not want to lose the game so quickly. So hesitantly, I poked it in. This isn't so bad, I thought. I pulled it out and couldn't help but give it a big whiffy sniffy sniff sniff. Mmm, it smells so unique, shitty and sweaty. My friend burst out laughing and was making fun of me for the rest of the night. He told me he was just joking and didn't think I would actually do it. So I'm not friends with him anymore. I'd rather sniff my finger alone all day. My sister deleted my Minecraft world, so I spanked her ass until it was completely red raw. My name is Mike Oxmall. This dreadful deletion happened on what started as a regular day. I had spent many, many hours on my Minecraft world, a collection of hundreds of netherite and diamonds and the most grand builds you could ever imagine. I was extremely proud of what I had achieved. But of course, my ugly, chubby, pimply, annoying ho our sister had to come along and ruin everything, cold-heartedly deleting it. She snuck into my room whilst I was taking a big poo-poo, and I came back to find it completely gone. My heart shattered into tiny pieces, and I immediately knew it was her. I ran into her room, and she had a smug grin on her face. I pounced on her, and without hesitation spanked the booty, so damn hard. She screamed in pain and literally passed out, so I took a shit on her and wiped it all over and went on with my day. A suitable revenge. But sadly I'm never playing Minecraft again, too much time was wasted. I've moved on to Fortnite now, add me my gamer tag is Sussy Chungus Balls. What if instead of high school, we had Rizla School, where Kai Sanat, Aiden Ross and I show speed with the teachers? and they taught us how to W riz up the baddies in our class. And instead of math, they showed us W reaction clips instead. If school was like that, I would love going. Imagine coming to class and seeing W Kai Senat guy at like, oh my God, I would totally lose my mind right then and there. Aidan Ross would definitely be my favorite teacher though, as he would teach us about the history of Riz and how to get the best guy ats in Miller Grove. We should totally make that happen. What do you say chat? They can also stream the whole thing, so kids from other places of the world that don't have school can tune in and learn more about Riz. Like holy crud chat, give me my Nobel Peace Prize right now. I am literally innovating the world as we know it. These three guys make up the world, and without them, I am certain we would fall apart as a society. Treasure these men chat, they are like my gods, and I will always follow their W guy at Riz.